I think actually, hold on a second. You're going to see one of the Xeno staples. going to be John, John Numbers versus Dill. This is the rematch of what we saw earlier. Will Numbers clean up his play? Or will Dill just do what she did the first time again and uh, make this a quick duo? Yeah, I will say, you know, Numbers just played against two people that were playing really confident and like kind of just running in on Numbers and it got more and more decisive. So I feel like Dill, you know, she was obviously very confident when she won 2-0 in winner's uh, semis, but will, uh, will that confidence run thin? Because I feel like Numbers is now uh, getting really good at dealing with people who are pushing in. Cool. But you can't push in on that laser. Just Probably one of the best tools Rob like has against anyone who has a projectile. So strong. Man. <laughs> that the fact that Gyro just eats sun. The fact that it just negates it. It's like, no. Oh, that's actually oh. death. I feel like that was maybe the slightly suboptimal DI. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, numbers went almost straight up, but it's not totally his fault. Because that move is very much, very hard to react to the last hit and know which side you're on to know which DI. And if you react wrong and hold the wrong direction, you can actually kill yourself even earlier than no DI. So it's just a really frustrating move. Um, probably my least favorite move Rob has is that up air. And just, it feels like a 50 50 sometimes DI. But numbers 100% of the time parry those nares. Great stuff. Yeah, and it's worth noting, we've seen other players that they can actually, with the characters that they are piloting, even if they nair, or, sorry, even if they parry Rob's nair, they don't have the best punish, the cleanest way of punishing it. But numbers, he will parry and then instantly throw out that F tilt, and it's just really consistent at hitting Rob. Yeah, F tilt strength is the fact that it hits on both sides, you know? So against a character like Rob, if you parry like, and Rob's right above you, you can confidently F tilt and know that it will hit no matter what. <laughs> and these uh, gyro soccer ball interactions have been really nutty. I mean, we saw that was numbers die to it last time. Yeah. And that was actually, numbers is also like throwing his, whenever he has control of the gyro, he'll throw his own soccer ball into the gyro just to like add extra shenaniganery. All right, I will. I do want to just point out that this is a completely different set than when we saw these two playing winners. By this point, I think the game was already over. And here, Numbers is playing much more slowly, not letting Dill get to him in the same way. And as a result, he is in the lead. Oh my god! Oh, oh I, I almost got the spike, but then got hit by the balls uh, itself. Oh, but still that was spike. That was so good. He used the invincibility just in time to counter that up air. And after that, Dill was that much lower, you know, and it's just more predictable. Eventually, the down air found its way to her. So now we have numbers confidently really just playing this matchup well. And let's see if numbers can get back. I mean, this is where Dill won last time, was the off stage game. And look, numbers clearly has found some counterplay to deal with the aggression, like these deep jump fares, knowing that Dill's going to be down there. Oh, but you can't do anything about that laser <laughs> sometimes. I, I do think actually that he could have in yeah, that instance. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, it, it's very tough sometimes because you press a button and you think you can safely press it, but then laser comes from all the way across, killing you. And Dill now is in this, you know. Um, she likes to go for the zero to death often, like at these low percent. She very almost to a telegraph to extend. So, gonna be doing a lot of yet. Z, Z drop, Nairs, trying to get a combo going. Doesn't, but now this is good dash attack. Oh no, goes for the down tilt instead. Yeah, numbers actually has been kind of on the ropes here. They're going blow for blow, but it seems like Dill is starting to make it actually count more in her favor. I will say, both times Dill just threw the gyro at numbers, numbers caught it. <laughs> like, no one really is, does that like numbers, just straight catches it while you throw it at uh, him. I mean, Numbers, the way he plays with and around Gyro is just fantastic. He also, I don't know if you noticed this, he will jab it with the back half, like the back part of jab, just to get rid of it when there is not much charge on the Gyro. This is scary right now. Numbers needs to get back from ledge, and he does. That's so huge, that soccer ball giving him enough time. That <laughs> touch into the ground. Oh, if he had gotten... That was actually really dicey. Oh, at this point, though, that, that was oh. it, gonna kid. Oh. 
That was so clutch. The downward single laser. I feel like Numbers was always ready for the t or was probably expecting the timing of the big laser right there, but just using the single one, knowing that uh, it's so deep that it does not matter, and is actually I feel like that moves faster maybe than the big one. So probably a different timing. Yeah. Was, little, 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 like, was, that, was it a fist driving? Bump? Was it that, a dance? That was no. That was just driving. Was just it like I gotta drive to my car. <laughs> this poor. Yeah, if your number is, that's actually got to be a real frustration. Playing the one. drums. Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. But yeah, that was definitely a clutch game to close out for. To like, that's got to be so much going into game two. I could see this kind of thing like came through the last set if numbers does not stay composed. Well, he started by charging Sun Salutation, which means he's maybe complete. Yeah, that, that tells me. He you, did not run in and get hit. It tells you not too much because I, I don't know if he's ever not started. With oh, no, him. that's how he started his other set. He ran in immediately. Yeah, got that, hit. That's true. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. him starting by selling, uh, charging Sun Salutation kind of tells that Dill is going to be the one who's going to be getting the opening. So it just is a matter of how good is Dill. I feel like that's a matter of almost every number set. If he loses, is how good the opponent is at blowing numbers up. That's like really what it comes down to because numbers will keep the same solid like uh, defensive fundamentals going and you just have to break through it. Look at this play right now. This is the sort of thing where, oh man, this reminds me of old school Dill numbers. Because on the surface, it's like, oh, there's not much interaction happening. But deeper than that, notice how there are so many moments where they're just barely missing each other. They're just slowly gaining information, trying to really figure out exactly how to get those big things started. And right here, that's kind of what we're seeing. Numbers now going on the aggression, coming off that ledge, trying to find these hits. But Dill's just being a little bit too evasive, and none of these neutral layers, none of these forward airs are actually connecting as a result numbers now at 107 percent 115 good job teching away right there otherwise that would have been his death yeah i think tech away dill couldn't have gotten there fast enough to get anything that would kill so definitely the right option but wow uses the floating of that up be so well and a bit of frustration in the cam this could be but this could be a disaster for numbers if you do not stay calm yeah it, it, at this point i feel like the only way numbers would remain uh, composed is if he gets some crazy zero to death type thing. Yeah, uh, it's still like this is w the biggest way you can secure your win is this situation right here. Can you get some good damage going before you lose this stock? Because you could lose it right now or not. Look at that Nair poking through the platform. Such a safe way to come back. Oh man, numbers off stage has just been a nightmare for every game these two have played tonight. That time DI's it a little bit better. Doesn't DI that back here well, but survives nonetheless. This might be it. That is it. And I don't want to call it too prematurely, but I feel like the way uh, Numbers Mentality is looking right now, this could just be game. Uh, Dill clearly has a confident download. That being said, oh, Town kind of backfiring. Not even able to kill Ra'ub with that up air. 141% and Dill doesn't even seem that scared. Maybe, maybe it should have been a little bit scared, yeah, but that trade actually going to work feel, out. In feel some fear, Dill. Because <laughs> WeFit can kill you. Oh, and Rob can kill you very early as well. These Sun Citations have been hitting really uh, consistently for numbers. I feel like that's been one of his biggest points of like breaking uh, pressure. So Dill can like maybe like even reflect one of those eventually, like some kind of mix-up. would be super huge. I think that Numbers does still do a good job of only throwing out the Suns as an anti-air option in ranges where it's unreactable with side mm -hmm. B. Okay, back throw, putting him off the ledge. Sure. Was reading the jump. If Numbers had jumped right there, that laser would have been disaster for him. Yeah, would have taken the jump, would have put you really deep off stage. Could have definitely been the set right there. Numbers, ooh, that could have been really big for his momentum if he was able to close it out, but still, definitely putting up a lot more fight the second stock than he has been before. Oh, Numbers actually didn't grab that gyro, but in the end, still manages to push the advantage. If you can take this stock, it'll be big, and there's a red spark, so no way you're going to be taking that. Numbers has brought this down to one stock apiece, but 93% already on him. Rob has so many ways of killing right now. There is not a lot of room for error, almost none at this point for Numbers. And yeah, if Numbers can even get back from this ledge. Ooh, okay. 
Honestly, not too rough getting hit by that Nair. So at least you're on the other side. That uh, was able to land. And now we're back to neutral. Great option to tech in right there. Okay, good job air dodging all of these projectiles. Numbers hasn't really gotten hit by anything too dangerous, but he's playing with fire, just barely avoiding I that. I feel like Dill had that read and the pivot grabbing accidentally did like a pivot dash grab pivot dash grab and that could have been the game right there. Possibly. Oh, she is looking for the grab right now. I'm pretty sure up throw, even on town and city with this much rage, probably will take it. Neutral is not enough though, 169%. Number surviving, but it's only by a tiny hair. Oh, but <laughs> Dill could have died right there. Oh. Number's got that back. In. That's not killing, is it? Oh, that my actually Lord. does. Look at Number's face getting the three stock to one comeback. That's the second one we've seen tonight. It is honestly very rare in Ultimate for players to make all that difference back. And Number's the, kind of the reason why he did that is uh, he just stayed alive. Yeah, and I feel like Dill um, kind of saw the end too early, like was thinking about closing out the stock a bit too much to where she let herself get overzealous and let numbers start to accumulate this comeback because look how much Dill was up. Such an early first stock. Numbers. Angry numbers. Some say he was angry. I say he was powering himself up. <laughs> a war chant to make this comeback. And it didn't work. And then it did. See, the head shake. No, the head shake yeah, is he shook shake. out all the bad thoughts. Yeah. The fist bang, that's, you're, you're digging yourself deeper. Yeah, he got his anger out in the first stock, so then by the second stock he lost, he was now zen. He, he, he went through all the rage. <laughs> he went through all the stages of grief. Yeah. And zen numbers, able to close it out. That was such a good back air, knowing that it's untackable with the deep breathing at such early percents. Dill now shake it off. She's kind of the one who is losing the momentum now. All right, and this time around, Numbers being a lot more of an aggressor, running up, shielding, trying to take space. But to, oh, okay, never mind. He yeah, has we, stopped the aggression. We are standing. <laughs> well, great, uh, great Nair from Numbers, kind of reading the, the jump Nair that Robs do. Just, it feels a lot safer than it is for Robs to throw that out. All right, I will say the last like three times Numbers has tried to approach, it's just been not the proper time. And Ooh, Dill has punished accordingly. But right there, that single up to let how much damage? Like, I want to say around 50. Or, oof. And now it's like, Dill, kind of, you kind of want to wait out the deep breathing, but at the same time, you don't want to let numbers get the sun salutation, you know? It's, it's a bit of a paradox. And Dill, I think, once again, messed up a pivot grab input. I like that from Numbers, recognizing that Dill had gone out there for the forward air pretty deep before. Now he's making the pull back, an anti-air up smash. Great pickup from Dill. That's going to be three stocks to two. The gap might start widening. We'll see how Numbers will respond as he now is kind of starting to be pushed more and more to the brink. Yeah, we never saw Dill really go for any like Tomahawk F smash, uh, Tom Tom Tomahawk smash attack option like that, you know. Kind of was uncharacteristic, so to just do something a little zany like that could definitely <laughs> to save that for game three was so good, and that was a little funny right there. The back, back and forth with Dill's own gyro. I'm sorry, the, the Sun Salutation win box interacting with, with gyro is hilarious. Yeah, it could sound like kind of flying. Oh, that was almost so bad. 164% on Dill. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's, it's not even a hitbox because it, it's still like it didn't get hit back to Dill or throw it back. It's, it's a wind just box. It's just, it's like, just, hey, I'm back. It's just gusty. It's just it's the sun. You know, sun makes wind. Science fact. Oh. Ooh. Yo, you're at 55 now? Ooh. Science fact. You don't want to whiff a side B. Uh, <laughs> interesting fact. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, re-grab that gyro. That was such a pivotal re-grab. It made that out of shield punish even easier. Now numbers once more is at the oh, ledge. Good, good tech. tech though. Also good delay, recognizing that the downer was coming. The question is though, right now, whether who, who's going to find this next stock? It's going to be massive, whoever does. And you think about it, they'll close this first stock only at like 50, like 66% or something. And now is down in percent on the second stock. Numbers clearly is like finding something later in these games. Or maybe it's Dill who's just that's... like losing the confidence, but really clever gyro. Yeah, that's just like the fourth stock that Numbers has lost to an offstage projectile. 
Yeah, and I feel like it's like, even though numbers don't the match up so well, it's like there's almost no one who can do that to Wii Fit but Rob. Yeah, so also, it, it could be very hard to. How much, the numbers took 35 from that. Okay. Well, and that, that was a frame trap right there. It's either you took the laser or air dodge and could be react to and punished. <gasps> oh, a guy like me would have down there after that gyro stage spike, but uh, <laughs> I guess still not quite ready to pull the trigger. Yeah, numbers didn't have deep breathing, so that grab is not going to be enough. And that dash attack isn't enough either. Finally, deep breathing in effect. But can numbers find another one of those hits? He is hungry. He is really trying to get that final hit in. Oh, the wrong way. That was actually really big for numbers. He's in her face, oh. but... That's like the perfect percent for down tilt where it doesn't quite send a tumble and you can just combo. That's so scary. Okay, being pushed to the ledge once more. Dash attack still not enough from across town. It's not going to be doing it. That okay. back there, though, is. And numbers was in a near identical position game two and managed to clutch up. Let's see. This is such a good way to start the clutch. Game Dill off stage having to land on you. What a stall. That shield is looking very small. I'd be surprised if we see a shield break, but it's kind of on the table. As for, like, now nah, the shield is probably healed back enough. <sighs> oh, that is so much percent. And could this happen now two games in a row where numbers makes a 100% comeback game? Oh, that's got to be it. Or is this it? Numbers so good at mashing. Ooh! The best masher in the West or East. <laughs> uh, and in the West. And in the West. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Okay, that gyro actually hitting 158% on numbers at the ledge. There's so much that's going to kill. Oh. oh, he's looking for it. Back is not enough, though. But deep, deep breathing. And this is very much kill percent. 90% doesn't matter if you're as heavy as Rob. With this much rage and deep breathing, that's you can it. do anything. And the platform, oh, the platform comes in. platform with the assist said, I got you. I'm going to guarantee you close up the stuff. Still almost choking out two like very large leads. Yeah. Managed to clutch it up right there. Yeah, Dill was at death percent here, but went for that. It didn't. I don't think she needed that platform, but no, the platform I don't think so, came but through. It just was to, insult uh, to injury for sure. And I, I feel like numbers in that last clutch ran up in shield. I don't know if I really agree with that. I feel like Dill kind of almost telegraphed that she was looking for grab at that percent, you know. But I mean, it's obviously. Yeah, can we say get a replay on ca what Captain happened Hindsight right there? Right there, though, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to see what happened. Yeah, it just like ran up shield. Because it's like, what's, uh, what's Rob going to really hit you with while you're running up right there that would kill you? you know? uh, well, it's all, it, it is worth noting that right before that, she had um, she shielded herself, mm -hmm. you know? Which there is a threat of, like, the threat of forward air and things. I mean, yeah. I feel like that was an anticipatory shield. Ooh, because if he didn't see the shield. Because, like, admittedly, Rob doesn't have a lot of great ways of killing at that exact range, you know? Like, forward air is probably the best option. If you're sitting in shield, rather. Uh, besides grab. Uh, forward air is the best option. That doesn't really kill, like, unless you're off stage at, like, 110. So, yeah.